Hello, this is a message for Constantine Kissin, a Russian fella that's come to this country and I think he thinks he's British. So he's recently come out as being in support of Palestine. I don't know why you'd support one side or the other. War seems a terrible thing, particularly as it is the Palestines who are quite clearly the victims in all this, who have had their land stolen and who live in occupied territory, as agreed by everyone, and are being subjected to a genocide or at least an ethnic cleansing yet to be shown by the court, but I'm sure that Netanyahu will not be turning up for his court date. It's an odd situation with Constantine. He comes across as quite elegant and lyrical person with good, you know, good voice and good diction. But then he comes out and supports Palestine. It's not a British thing to support Palestine. Britons and British in our culture We've always supported the underdogs. It's the elite that supports the powerful, and it tends to be the working man, the citizens of this country, which always support the underdogs. Mostly because... Boom. Mostly because British have been victims of the powerful, namely the elites. So we always support the underdogs. If America were to go to war with some piddly little country in the middle of the Pacific, Britain and its population would support the piddly little country in the middle of the Pacific, even though crazy people like Keir Starmer or Boris Johnson would certainly support America and the powerful because that's who they like to lick up to and suck up to. And it seems to me that Constantine is also getting into his realm of licking and sucking up to powerful people. Only this week he had some major guy on his show. This guy said this. Israel's not an occupier. Israel is not an apartheid state. Israel has not stolen Arab land. Uh, all of these things which are, you know, is illegal settlements, all of these things are lies. They're generated, and, and I, I don't want to bore you with too much history, but they were generated originally by the Soviet Union. It is not Russian propaganda that Palestine's had their land stolen. It's a known fact. There are resolutions about this in the United Nations. Palestines are living on a land that has been occupied by the Israelis. It is known that it has taken off Palestine at the point of a gun. If that's not stealing, then I don't know what stealing is. I don't understand Constantine Kisson. He came across for quite a while as being quite a decent chap. He now seems to be full of what he can do to align himself to the leak with Boris Johnson and Keir Starmer, the useless politicians this major guy had on the show. Who the hell is he? Someone from the propaganda wing of the British establishment? Certainly seems that way to me. Anyway, good luck. Maybe, actually, maybe it's because Thinking about it, he left Russia after the Soviet Union fell. So maybe he liked it under the Soviet Union and he really wants to bring that sort of oppression to this country over here. He wants to align himself with the elite whilst pretending he's supporting the working classes and the common man. But in fact, what he wants to do is see the elite come to power and exercise their power over the working man as the Soviets done in the communist era. Perhaps Constantine Kisson wants to see gulags opened up to imprison everyone that doesn't like the things that he likes. I don't know why he has these propagandists on his show, but he's been doing it quite a lot recently. Coming out in support of Israelis over the Palestinians seems absolutely nuts. It is the Palestinians who are being killed en masse, who have their hospitals being bombed, who have their schools being bombed, their neighbourhoods being bombed and flattened. It is the Palestinians whom the Israelis say, Go over here, go to this zone, you'll be safe there. And then they bomb that zone. And they say, well, actually, go over to this zone over here, you'll be safe there. And then they bomb that zone. And all their meantime, all they're doing is destroying their houses, destroying their infrastructure, destroying their schools, and destroying their hospitals. Making a right mess of the place where Palestinians live, the last refuge of Gaza. Nobody in their right mind would support such barbarity. Nobody would support what the Palestinians done to Israelis either. You don't have to take sides in a war. You can say both sides are evil, both sides are as bad as each other, and that's exactly what's going on here. Both sides are acting like children. 
both sides are wrong and to take a side doesn't make you morally superior it just makes you moronic it makes you stupid so stop it for crying out loud grow a pair and stand up for what's right and what's wrong now is there anything else i want to say i think that's it cheers a nice cup of british tea <laughs>